known as the King of Fruits. This fruit is not only famous across Southeast Asia, but also notoriously challenging to grow. Curious how farmers managed to conquer this finicky crop. The exciting journey begins now. Let's go. In Thailand, the Monthong durian variety accounts for 90% of production due to its sweet flavor and high quality. In 2020, durian exports exceeded $1.5 billion, positioning Thailand as the world leader in durian exports. Durian is especially popular in countries like Thailand, Malaysia, Indonesia, and Vietnam. In 2020, Thailand exported around 600,000 tons of durian, holding a significant share of the global market, with China being the primary import destination. In some areas, durian is planted at a fairly dense rate of about 40 to 50 trees per hectare, optimizing land use. Thanks to ideal climate conditions and advanced cultivation techniques, durian production in Southeast Asia now meets both domestic consumption and export demand. Durian is typically grown in humid tropical regions, where the trees thrive in hot, moist climates with abundant rainfall. Mature durian trees can reach up to 120 feet in height in the wild, with scattered planting densities in forested areas and farms. Durian varieties are grafted and selectively bred to reduce tree size, making harvest easier while maintaining high yields, with each fruit weighing between approximately 4.4 and 17.6 pounds. Malaysia is renowned for its Musang King Durian, known for its rich flavor and high price, reaching $20 to $30 per kilogram in China and Western markets. In 2019, Malaysia exported over 70,000 tons of durian to China, marking a significant milestone in the durian industry. Nutritionally, durian is a rich source of vitamins and minerals, including vitamin C, vitamin B6, potassium, and fiber. It also contains antioxidants, which help reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease and protect the body from free radicals. Additionally, durian provides a high energy yield about 150 to 200 kilocalories per 100 grams, making it a valuable energy source for the body.
To meet export demand, Thailand and Malaysia have established modern processing facilities to ensure hygiene and food safety standards. Preservation methods like freeze drying and vacuum freezing extend durian's shelf life, allowing it to retain flavor and quality when shipped to distant markets. The dried durian market is thriving, with an average retail price of about $10 to $15 per 100 grams of freeze-dried durian in Western markets. China is the world's largest importer of durian, with total imports from Thailand reaching $4 billion in 2021. The demand for durian in China continues to rise, especially as Chinese consumers increasingly favor products with durian's unique flavor. Processing durian is a complex and technical process. After harvesting, durians are usually transferred to processing facilities to undergo stages of cleaning, sorting, and separating the fruit flesh. Each piece of golden durian flesh is carefully removed from the hard, thorny shell, then used to process into a variety of products. the United States. The third largest apple producer in the world, the U.S. produces around 9.9 .9 billion pounds annually, primarily from Washington State. This region accounts for 70% of the nation's apple production due to its ideal climate and soil conditions. Famous apple-growing regions like the Yakima Valley, Wenatchee and Chelan produce many high-quality apple varieties, with Yakima alone covering over 57,000 acres of apple orchards, contributing to the global reputation of American apples. In Washington, apple farms are often large-scale, spanning 100 acres or more, with some farms covering over 5,000 acres. Apple trees are planted at a density of about 670 trees per acre, spaced approximately 4 feet apart. This setup optimizes land use and allows ample room for growth,
In addition to Washington, other states like New York, Michigan, and Pennsylvania also have significant apple growing areas, with New York covering about 53,000 acres and Pennsylvania 21,000 acres. Popular apple varieties here include Red Delicious, Granny Smith, Golden Delicious, and Fuji, carefully selected and tended to ensure high quality and yield. Each apple tree typically takes three to four years to produce its first harvest and then continues to yield fruit consistently for many years. The process of growing and harvesting apples on American farms involves numerous stages of careful management and care. During the blooming phase, farms often hire beekeepers to bring in bees for pollination, ensuring high fruit yield and quality. The rental cost for each bee colony ranges from $65 to $120, and each acre of apple orchard requires about 14,000 bees to ensure effective pollination. Apple harvest season begins in mid-August, when workers from Mexico, Venezuela, and Guatemala arrive in Washington. They earn between $45 and $55 per bin of apples. In 2021, Washington harvested approximately 6.76 billion pounds of apples, New York 1.37 billion, and Pennsylvania 656 million. Altogether, the U.S. harvests 11.3 to 12 billion apples annually, meeting both domestic and export demands. After harvesting, apples are transported to facilities for washing, sanitizing, and thorough sorting. About 25.9% of fresh apple production is exported to major markets such as China, Japan, South Korea, and the Middle East. To ensure quality during international shipping, apples are carefully packaged to minimize damage. Apples that don't meet export standards are processed into various other products to satisfy consumer demand. <laughs> 